Hello my friends, how's it going? Today we got a stereo. This is the back. I had to break the side and melt the little thing here to get it apart because it had Chinese screws. And believe it or not, the screwdriver wasn't long enough to take them out anyway, so I had no choice. But uh, this right here is what we got. Now the problem with this stereo here was you'd plug it in and you push the button here. Don't mind the tape buttons, they shouldn't be like that. But uh, you push the button here, which is the power button. As a matter of fact, I broke a piece of that circuit board off too. Wow, I gotta figure out how to fix that. Maybe the power button will still work. But uh, you push the power button and the lights would come on. Over here would light up. You push the button and no sound would come out. So I know the power supply is good because all the lights light up real bright. So the problem's not the power supply. The problem is either in the amplifier or the preamp. So I'm going to take this apart and look around, see if there's anything weird. I got to tell you, this stereo has a pretty bad design. I mean, I have it sitting like that now. And believe it or not, I can't get it to go back together. But uh, I'm going to try and put this together and plug it in. Since I, I think I broke a chip off of that circuit board, I want to make sure the power button still works. All right, well, we're going to see what we can do with this thing here. I'm not saying we're going to get it working. not saying we're not going to, because I don't know. This is a pretty modern stereo for me. You can obviously tell by how hard it is to even take the thing apart. This is a newer stereo, 1995. I'm not getting it here. Alright. Slowly but surely we're, we're making our way here. I'm going to cut the top of this. Alright, she's back together now. I'm going to plug this thing in and see if I'm still getting the same diagnosis I got before because as I was trying to take this thing apart, I had to pry it. And as I was prying it, I took a chip out of the circuit board. Now, I have no idea what that circuit board goes to. I hope it goes to the CD player because I know for a fact the CD player doesn't work and I'm not going to try and fix it. CDs suck. There's no other word for it. They suck. So, I'm not even going to mess with the CD player. I'm going to take that apart and hopefully the power button still works. Hopefully all the little lights and stuff work. And if that does, then I'm going to take it apart. And I want to check the transistor on the amplifier. I could be wrong, but on an analog radio, usually that's what's wrong. The transistor, if you're not getting any sound. Either that or your power supply. And I know the power supply is good because everything turns on. Except, Alright, I'm going to plug this thing in. Couldn't finish what I was saying because the camera cut me off as it always does. But uh, yeah, I'm going to plug this thing in and see what we get. Alright, I'm just going to wire these wires into the back here. Oh, look at that. The wires, I didn't put it... Can't. Something's in front of the plugs there. Some kind of piece of plastic or something. There we go, it's better. Alright, I got the speaker wires hooked into the back. And... Ow, I just stepped on a broken piece of plastic. Alright, I got the speaker wires in the back. Let's plug it in now. Hopefully nothing shorts out. Alright. Push the power button. I heard a poof on the speaker. 
Right now it's on CD. And the uh, uh, thing says zero, 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 zero. All right, let's try tuner. Whoa, she's working, dude. She's working. I don't believe it, dude. I broke the freaking thing, taking it apart, and it works. I don't believe it, dude. I don't care what anybody says, dude. That is the clear miracle of God right there. When that thing was all together, there wasn't a scratch on it, it didn't work. So here I am with a screwdriver, hitting it with my friggin' uh, uh, the things here, trying to push, 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 pry it open and, and break the joints, because I couldn't get a screwdriver to fit that. Dude, that is insane. I mean, I broke the thing. I broke the circuit board, taking it apart, and now it's working. That is, I don't even, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say about that. That is clearly the work of God. Every time before I work on something, I always ask the Lord to help me. I always ask the Lord to give me wisdom and to guide my mind and to guide me through whatever I'm fixing. All right? I screwed it up, but somehow it's playing sound. That's all I know. That is the clear work of God. All right. I got to see this again, man. Push the button. And that's how it would be before. No sound. But now I hear sound, dude. The volume's digital. Let's see how good the, the channels come in. This stereo's not too bad, man. It's got an equalizer on the front. Stereo light. Piece of it. Let's try the equalizer here. Equalizer works, dude. Turn it up now. That is crazy. I take it apart and bust it up, and the thing starts playing. Well, I hope you experience the same thing I just experienced sometime in your life, just like a pure miracle. Because, uh, it speaks for itself. <laughs> it speaks for itself. But uh, hopefully a buddy of mine will enjoy the stereo now that it's working. I'm going to put the screws back in and, you know, put some duct tape on the sides. Make sure that don't come apart. Might melt it back together. I don't know. But he's got himself a nice stereo here. Got an equalizer on the front. he got the speakers that clamp on the side for it, too. So... He's gonna be rocking now. <laughs> it's a shame, dude. I wanted to. I actually kind of wanted to do work on this. This is a modern radio to me. You know, this is half digital, half analog. Back when the digital stuff was still new, you know, they still put analog in. It's better than the new stuff, I'll say that. But it's similar to the new stuff. So I'm not good at fixing it. I'm kind of glad it does work because I don't really know what to do besides, you know, replace the transistor. Everything else, the circuits are like your fingernail. I don't know how to fix that kind of stuff. You know, I, I want to show you the difference between an analog circuit board and a digital circuit board. This right here is a small circuit board that I took out of that radio right there. That radio worked when I got it, but I tried to make a transmitter out of it and I killed it. But the casing's like new, so I saved the casing to it. Anyway, this is the analog circuit board that was in there, and this is the back of an analog circuit board. See, if you needed to, you can melt those joints and pull these microchips out and replace a microchip if one of them goes bad. Now, on a digital circuit board, however, like this, the stuff is so small, you can't really desolder any chips and work on it, especially on the back. It's, you know, the back, it's all right, but it's very hard, very hard to work with small stuff like this. Like right there, those things, I don't even know what they are. I don't know how to take them out. Digital circuitry is very, very, very complicated to me. I mean, these little things, I, for years, I wondered what the heck these things are. I don't know if they're capacitors or what they are. But that's digital, all right? Digital is junk. Digital's junk. You don't want digital. 
This is half analog, half digital. The only thing digital in there I really seen was the CD player. But analog is this, and this you can work with, my friends. So stick with the analog if I were you. No, uh, I'm glad you guys uh, took the time to watch this video. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, about what happened. Hey, that's just a pure mil miracle of God. I mean, you ask God for wisdom and help you do something. He'll help you, without a doubt. There's a good chance that it may he may help you in a mysterious way that you're not expecting, like this. By the time I got the thing apart, I was sure that it would be broken and that I wouldn't be able to fix it at all. And here I plug it into the wall just for the heck of it, and then it's working. It's mysterious, but that's how God works. He works in mysterious ways, brothers and sisters. Seriously, He does. We're all brothers and sisters. We gotta love one another, really. You know, we gotta. We just gotta be peaceful. We gotta spread peace, spread joy, and love. Cause, you know, these are the last days. You know, they're. They're going to be what we make them. Let's make them as good as we can. You know, just have fun. You know, just, all right. I thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Peace out, every everybody. Peace. Before I close out this video, this is the tape player. Let me adjust the equalizer real quick. The tape player on the left doesn't work, but the one or the one on the right here works. Mic volume. That's Paul Simon right there. Peace. Love your brother. Love your brothers.